This is Steven Turner in the UVA Bioinformatics Corps, and today's tip is to show you how to convert gene identifiers from one uh, ID to another. And so in this example, we've run a microarray experiment on the Affymetrix mouse gene 1.0 uh, ST array from, from Affymetrix. And so we have a, a probe set ID, a fold change, a p-value, and an adjusted p-value. And so what we could do is uh, first, if we want to convert uh, these gene IDs from, from this probe set ID to uh, let's say the gene symbol, uh, first select uh, the gene identifiers that you want to convert, and then we'll go to the Ensemble Biomart. And so with the Biomart, you essentially select the data set that you want to display, you put some filters in place, so in this case we'll filter that data set by the gene IDs that we have, uh, and we'll select which attributes we want to display. And so in this example we're using uh, Ensemble Genes, data set, we're using the mouse, and we're going to filter this data set by gene IDs. And the type of gene ID that we're going to use is all the way down at the bottom. It's the Affymetrix mouse gene 1.0 ST array uh, probe set IDs. And so we paste that list of gene IDs here. You could also upload uh, a text file with all these identifiers if you have more than you, than you want to copy and paste. And now we need to select which attributes we want to display. And so if we come over here, uh, click down the gene, by default, it selects the, the ensemble gene ID and transcript ID. I might not care about the transcript ID, but maybe I want the, the, the gene name, uh, the, the, the chromosome start and end position, um, maybe, maybe the description, the long name of the gene. Uh, we could come down here and, and select uh, other uh, types of annotation. We can, we can annotate these with Go terms, gene ontology terms. We could uh, convert to lots of other different types of gene identifiers. Uh, down here you can actually uh, see which probe set IDs from other platforms map to this same gene uh, in case you had uh, data from multiple experiments using different microarray probes. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select the Affymetrix mouse gene probe set uh, just so uh, we, can, we can see exactly which probe set ID maps to which gene. And so once you've selected which attributes you want to display, hit results and then click Unique Results Only. And this shows you that, for instance, probe set 1050-2081 maps to uh, the gene ENPP, uh, and so on. And so you can, result, you can uh, export these results to a file, and I'm going to go ahead and export them to an Excel file. And you do that, and it should download. And then you can open up this file, and I think that these are our links in here. So, uh, for instance, if I want to look at this gene, I can I think I can double click here. Yeah, and it'll take me to the um, to the Ensemble uh, Genome Browser with this gene highlighted.